Hey, preschool kids and families, it's Mr. Sam. Thanks for joining us. We love teaching you about who God is and what God has done from the Bible. That's why we're making these videos. Every week, we're gonna practice our monthly memory verse, hear a story from the Bible, and worship God by singing together. This week, Miss Julie is gonna be teaching us about when Adam and Eve disobey God. But first, let's practice our monthly memory verse to remember what's true, good, and beautiful about God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1-1. everybody it's so great to see you are you ready for our lesson all right if you have your Bible go ahead and open it up if not you can just follow along with me our story today comes from you guessed it the Bible the Bible is God's true word it is from God and about God and it is true now for the last couple of weeks we've been learning all about the good things God made and that God made everything. Let's stop for just a minute. Look around or close your eyes and think about some things that God has made. The sky, the clouds, the birds, the fish, the trees. Everything God made was good. And we also talked about something God made that was very good too. Do you remember what that was? That's right, man and woman. When God made people, he made them in a way that can show others some things that are true about God. Only people can do that because they were made in God's image. Now today we're gonna learn about the first people God made, Adam and Eve. On the count of three, say Adam and Eve. One, two, three, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden and it was perfect. There is no sickness or death or sadness or anything bad. And Adam and Eve got to be with God. They got to walk with God and talk with God face to face. There's nothing better than getting to be with God. God gave Adam and Eve the Imago Dei, his likeness, when he created them. They were precious to God. Adam and Eve had healthy hearts. That means that they love and trusted God. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed in the garden. He gave them every single tree in the garden to eat delicious food from except for one. God is so generous to give so much to his children. God gave Adam and Eve only one rule, that they could not eat the fruit from that one tree. God was protecting Adam and Eve by telling them not to eat the fruit from that one tree. God knew that if they ate the fruit, they would be separated from God and die. God's rule would actually keep Adam and Eve safe and help them live the happiest life possible. One day, a beautiful snake came into the garden and spoke to Eve. The snake lied to Eve and told Eve that if she ate the fruit from that one tree, she would not die, but she would be like God. What a terrible lie. Sadly, Eve listened to the snake instead of God. 
Let's see what happens in the Bible. Genesis 3. 6b says, she took of the fruit and ate and also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Adam and Eve sinned when they disobeyed God and ate the fruit. Raise your hand if you know what sin is. Sin is anything we do or think that is different from what God wants. And do you know who knows what is best? God knows what is best. As soon as Adam and Eve disobeyed God and ate the fruit, everything in God's good world broke. Sin entered the world and the world was no longer good. Now there was sickness and death and sadness and bad things. When Adam and Eve sinned, their hearts became sick with sin too and they no longer had a healthy heart. They had a sick heart. Adam and Eve knew they had done something terrible, so they tried to hide from God. Can you pretend to hide with me? Oh, do you think God could find Adam and Eve? Of course he could. Can we hide from God? No way. We can't hide from God because God knows everything and sees everything. God told Adam and Eve what would happen if they ate the fruit. They would be separated from God and die. There is nothing worse than being separated from God. God punished Adam and Eve for disobeying him. He sent them out of the beautiful garden he had made for them. But before God sent them out, he made them a promise, a very important promise. God promised Adam and Eve that one day he would send a savior to rescue God's precious people from their sin. That savior would fix every single thing that sin had broken. That savior would also defeat the snake that had lied to Adam and Eve. Do you know who that savior was? I bet you do. That's right, that savior was Jesus. On the count of three, say Jesus. One, two, three, Jesus. Good job. And one of the most terrible moments ever when everything was broken by sin, God told Adam and Eve that Jesus would come to save sinners. Adam and Eve could not fix their hearts that were sick with sin, but Jesus could. So God's people began to wait and wait and wait for Jesus to come to save sinners. All of us are born with hearts like Adam and Eve too. Our hearts are sick with sin. We can't fix our sinful hearts, only God can. That's why Jesus came to save sinners. On the count of three, look to the person next to you and say, Jesus came to save sinners. One, two, three. Jesus came to save sinners. Great job. Now on the count of three, make a cross with your hands and say, Jesus came to save sinners. One, two, three. Jesus came to save sinners. Last one. Are you ready? On the count of three and in your loudest voice, let's say Jesus came to save sinners. All right, one, two, Three, Jesus came to save sinners. Good job. Now, before we sing and worship God together, let's pray and thank God that he sent Jesus to save sinners. Dear God, we are so grateful that you loved us and you sent Jesus to save sinners, that when we couldn't fix our own sick hearts, you sent Jesus to give us a new, healthy heart that loves and trusts you. God, I pray that each one of the boys and girls that is watching this video would love and trust you too. In Christ's name, amen.
Thanks for joining us. For more information and additional resources for both kids and parents, check out our TBC Kids site located on the homepage of thevillagechurch.net.